Good morning and welcome to Living Local 15. I'm your host, Jessica Williams. Thank you so much for joining me today. As you may know, yesterday was my birthday, so I took you inside of one of my favorite restaurants, Joseph DeQuise, to explore their conservatory and learn all about their upcoming events. Plus, we show you how to have a good time on your birthday. And today, the fun continues as I sit down with their executive chef and sous chef to taste some of the new items they are cooking up and get some wine education from their sommelier. And later, the music duo She Shed joins me in studio to give us the rundown on their music showcase happening this weekend. That and more happening now. Fashion, food, and fun. You're watching Living Local 15 with your host, Jessica Williams. All right, guys, welcome back. I am now in the club room of Joseph DeQuise, and I am joined by their chefs. We have executive chef Alex, and we have sous chef Sean. Hello, how are you guys uh, doing? Hello, you, Jessica. Good, I'm doing wonderful, thank you. And I'm so excited to taste some new items on the menu. But first, you just joined as the executive chef about six months ago, right? Yeah. Yeah, so I would love to learn a little bit about your background and what led you here in Fort Wayne. Okay, well, my name is Alex Neira. I'm from Colombia. I have uh, 20 years experience in different restaurants in the world. Yeah. I worked before in Spain, open restaurants in Chicago, San Francisco, Miami. Uh, worked before here, two years ago. Uh -huh. so I'm back with the Chef Marcus and now have this opportunity. Yes, here. you came yes, back. You left Fort Wayne and came back because this is definitely the place to be, especially for this incredible cuisine. Okay, so first up we have our duck dish here. So give me a little bit of information. What is this dish called? Sure, so what we have here is a uh, sweet potato puree on the bottom with a uh, seared duck breast on top, a little bit of togarashi, and a little bit of peanut gremolata. Mmm, yum. It's so beautiful. It smells so good. It almost smells like a dessert. There's an element of it that smells like a dessert. Okay, so as I dive in, what are some flavors I should probably be tasting? Well, there's also a uh, vanilla bourbon glaze on the top. Uh-huh. So that's probably the, the sweet uh, that you're smelling. Oh. But okay. uh, the sweet potato is going to be sweet, of course. The togarashi is a little, little bit spicy. And then to balance that out, a sweeter uh, peanut gremolata. That peanut is amazing, wow. Thank you. Mm. So good, so fun. And of course you have to pair it with an amazing wine option. Mm. So good, so Rochelle is joining us with what to pair this with. <laughs> Hello. Hi again. All right, what do we have? Uh, so I would pair this with a French Pinot Noir. This is a La Petite Perrier Pinot Noir. Nice, okay. And this is a 2022. All right, so we have this here. So we'll give a little swivel and then a little cheers. Mmm, that looks lovely. Mm. <laughs> okay, very light. Yeah, it has a mild yeah. flavor and flair to it. A nice little body on it. Okay, we've tasted the duck. Now on to the next. All right, so I tried the duck, and next up is the fettuccine. I'm so excited about this. But first, Sean, so you came here about six months ago also, right? Yeah, uh, we started around the same time, me and Alex. Mm -hmm. um, but before that, I was in Miami. Uh, I've also done some yacht work, sailboats, uh, but I actually got my start uh, in the Warsaw area. So. Okay. So you yeah. also made a little circle back. Yeah. You were here before back and now home. you're back. Yeah, and Again. I love that. So much diverse experience that you both bring. So that's really exciting. And so with this dish, I'm already seeing just like, this is a different way to style fettuccine. So chef, you made this dish. So tell me all about it. Uh, so the fettuccine is, uh, has truffle cheese in it. Ah. We get that from a local supplier actually. Mm -hmm. uh, it has 
actual truffles in it, black truffles. That's what's on top, okay, yes, I yeah, love a Yeah, very truffle. fragrant. Oh. Uh, Parmesan, it's, uh, it's a very, very truffle forward, very savory dish. Okay, here we go. You're a fan of truffles? I am. <laughs> I love truffles. Sean, I Me love too. truffles so much, but these are thicker. Like, you get a healthy portion here. A lot of places shave it as thin as possible. Mm -hmm. We like to give a little more bite to it. Yes, a meaty truffle for sure. Yeah. And you guys know that we have to pair it with some wine. Rochelle, let us know. What do we pair this with? <laughs> you like flavor? So good. Mm -hmm. So good, yeah. Uh, and pairing with the pasta, I have a Lange Nebbiolo. This is a 2017. Okay. This is from the Piedmont region of Northern Italy. Oh, look at that color, it's so beautiful. Okay, guys, we'll give a little swirl, a little smell, and a little cheers. Cheers. Oh, cheers. <laughs> It's nice mm. and mild. The fettuccine chef is so good. Thank you. I love it. It's um, perfectly cooked al dente. It has that thick, meaty truffle that we spoke of, and the flavor is just so good. Yeah. Thank love you this. So love this. Okay. So now we have to move on to the moment that you all have been waiting for. This Wagyu steak is so popular here. And so now we're going to have it taste it. And now for the special moment of trying the wacky beef. You guys know we toured the farms here at Joseph Dupree, so we kind of got to see how it went from farm to fork. So, Chef, tell me all about this dish. Okay, this is a Awayu ribeye it's, uh, with the JD potatoes mm -hmm. and the farm vegetables and the milas. Oh, yes, farm vegetables. So, you also have farm to fork, correct? Yep. We grow a lot of our own vegetables, microgreens, and alongside our Wagyu beef. <sighs> that beef is so beautiful. I mean, look at that. I mean, just perfectly cooked. So we're going to taste it. Mm. Mm. So tender. Thank you. Thank so you. Good. We take a Thank lot you. of pride in, in the beef. Yeah, like this is the thing that you have to get when you come to Joseph de Quise. And of course, we have to pair it with wine, so Rochelle is going to join us again. Hello. Hi. Uh, so, with pairing the bold flavors of the Wagyu, mm -hmm. I, want, I chose a bold wine. This is a Peju Cabernet from uh, Napa Valley, and it's a 2021. Okay. Mm -hmm. Wow, look at that Super color, dark. right? Yeah. Super dark. So Rochelle, tell me, what is the best way to taste the wine with the food? I always like to take a pre-sip of the wine, okay. just to kind of cleanse the palate, and then you take a bite of your uh, food. I try to get all the flavors maybe in one bite, and then f finish that up with a... So when you say all, all the flavors, you mean like the vegetable and just everything that's all yes. on that? Okay. Oh, I see now how the potato. Wow, okay, the potato cake, the Wagyu, and then of course some of the Brussels sprouts that's on the plate, okay. Mm. Chew, chew. Yeah, the potato is supposed to be more of a textural thing, like crispy, almost sponge-like, and in the middle, it's like smooth, almost it like is. a puree. Mm-hmm, mm. so creative, mm. Mm-mm-mm. If you guys can't tell, I love the food here, okay. And now, mm. yeah. <laughs> that moment of silence that I talked about before. <laughs> Sometimes you have to respect the food and the drink that you are eating. Okay, thank you, Rochelle. Yes, you're welcome. <laughs> All right, chefs, thank you so much for this food. It was so delicious. And then, of course, having fun with the wine pairings is great. Welcome, both of you. Absolutely. Yeah. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. Thanks for coming. Thank you. Okay, and then next up, I'm actually going to sit down with their pastry chef to taste one of their desserts.
Well, this has been such an exciting day at Joseph the Queen's, and we're going to end it off with some dessert, and they have a little birthday candle, which is so nice, and I am joined by Amber, who is their pastry chef. Hello, Amber. Hi. How are you? I'm well. How are you? <laughs> Good. Okay, so this dessert looks so exciting, but first, let's chat for a moment. So sure. So you are a Fort Wayne native. I sure am. Yes, and now you're working at Joseph de Quiz, which is so exciting. So tell me a little bit about your background. So my background was in senior living. That's where I fell in love with food. Mm -hmm. um, I was in management though, mm -hmm. and I decided I was gonna take the jump, and I applied, and they took a risk on me, and I fell in love, and desserts are my passion. I love so that, yes. Yeah. And this looks so great. So it looks like there's already been some like action happening on this dessert yep. previously. So tell me what this dessert is, and how is it finished off? So this is our s'mores tower, and it mm -hmm. starts at the bottom with a house-made graham cracker crust, yes. dark chocolate mousse, and house-made marshmallow on top. Okay, yes. that's a big marshmallow. It house is made. Okay, it is. Okay, so yes. what's the? Fi I hear that there's like a final. Da 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 da. Pretty exciting, <laughs> yeah. So we flambe it at the table. And lean back. <sighs> And you can let it burn as long to your desired toastiness because everybody yes. likes their marshmallows a little bit different. That is beautiful. I love that. And I love how it just kind of like melts mm -hmm. down. So at what point can you eat it? Like is it edible now? Edible now. Edible. I would blow it out and then oh, and then out. go go into it. Okay, I'll make a little birthday wish. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> Okay, and then you just go, yeah. and just go for it? Go for it. Okay, I'm gonna turn it like this, and I'm gonna go for it like this, so we can get the cut. Ooh, Ooh oh yeah. That graham cracker finish is a serious business down there. We want to make it. Okay, I'm gonna do it like this, and then I'm gonna go on this side. I want to scoop it up. And bring it back. Ooh, that folds so beautiful. Mm -hmm. mm. Wow. Mm -mm. It punches me in so many <laughs> different. <laughs> I was like, oh, it's so soft. Oh, it's so fluffy. Oh, it's so rich with the chocolate. This is delicious. Thank oh my you. gosh. And you guys Thank offer you. so many other things. We sure on do. Your menu. So you guys have to come in and taste everything that Amber has to offer. Thank you so You're much. You're welcome. Thank you. It. And happy yes. birthday. Thank you. You're welcome. Listen, guys, this has been such an exciting time here at Joseph DeQuise for my birthday. And of course, you all can celebrate your birthday here in so many other occasions. Just go to their website and see what they have going on. And of course, they launched their spring menu and so much more. We'll have their website listed below and we'll be right back. Have an idea for the show? Want to find out how you can be a guest? Contact us at livinglocal15 at wayne.com. If you love jazz music, well, you're in luck. Today I am speaking with local artists who make up a duet group filled with music, live performance, and I hear some improvisation. And joining me today is She Shed with Jenna and Carly. Hello. Hi. Good morning. Hi. Good morning. <laughs> How are you guys doing? We're great. Good. Okay. First off, I love the name, She Shed, right? <laughs> Thank you, yeah. <laughs> so have you performed in many She Sheds? Oh, well, not in a shed per se, <laughs> a but garage a garage one ones. Time, yeah. yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but no, we mostly perform in local jazz venues or for private yes. events. That's awesome. Okay, so give me an overview of what your sound is like. What is this jazz duo all about? Um, for this event, uh, we, uh, we're doing a mix of kind of modal jazz mm -hmm. as well as some original stuff. So we'll be doing um, things inspired by Chick Corea's children's songs, okay. looper, live looping, mm -hmm. um, and, and interactive. So everything that you're going to see is going to be created in real time. Really? Yes. Wow. So what is live looping? I haven't heard of that. So there's a looper that's used most often for instruments, but mm -hmm. I use it for vocals. Oh. So you record a loop of uh, four bars, let's say, uh -huh. and you hit a, a button and it loops that so you can build your vocals on top of it uh -huh. and it creates a whole soundscape. Right. So 
although we are just two musicians, mm -hmm. we're creating a, a, a large sound that's really involved and complex. There's also going to be an element of poetry as yeah. well. Okay, that's really cool. So I have to roll back on the improv. So you're just literally just riffing. Yes. You're just going with it. Yeah. Oh my gosh, that's so fun. Yeah. With, with a yeah. pre-planned structure. Yeah. Right, right. <laughs> so it's, it's not, not free not, jazz. Yes, right, right. <laughs> it's going to be good. It's, you know, it's melodic. It is rhythmic. It is uh -huh. um, cohesive. Yes. Um, you know, practiced and, and put together, but with that free element yeah. as well. Yeah. And so people can listen to this um, um, event or attend it. Sounds from a house that's taking place this Sunday, March 24th at what time? 7 p.m. Okay, 7 p.m. Okay, so let's dive deeper into your musical background. Carly, you're a pianist, so how did you get your start? I actually I started playing piano when I was seven years old. Mm -hmm. I um, my parents got me lessons um, because I'd been playing around on the piano at my grandparents' house. Okay. And um, it was only a few years after that I became the pianist for my church. Okay. And um, trial by fire, you know that <laughs> that made me get better rather quickly. Mm -hmm. I studied with uh, several classical teachers, so uh -huh. I was classically trained until my early twenties when I came to Fort Wayne and. And I found a jazz mentor yes. and, and studied. I still study um, that. So I have started performing in public about eight, eight or nine years ago mm -hmm. outside of church. Okay. And so it's just been kind of a slow burn building mm -hmm. all of that. Yeah, that's great that you had that passion and just kept going and growing on it. Mm -hmm. So that's wonderful. So Jana, you are a singer. Mm -hmm. So tell me all about your styles that you do and how did you really get your start? Oh, it's varied, actually. Um, I got my start uh, with solos in school, you know, mm -hmm. um, school concerts. Then I started singing a lot of the national anthem, actually, okay, yes. in high school, and I went traveling to do that. Mm -hmm. And I studied musical theater in college, mm -hmm. so I have a BFA in musical theater. Moved to New York for six years nice. and did stuff there, lots mm -hmm. of stuff. Started writing my own music, mm -hmm. and uh, actually that was rock music. Oh. Some, uh, yeah, so very different um, genres. And then while I was in New York, I also got into jazz, and that's where my jazz story began. Mm -hmm. I was a bartender at a Chelsea soccer bar, and they had live jazz every Sunday. Yeah. And I got to meet some solid jazz players. Mm -hmm and decided I wanted to do a master's in jazz. So I did that uh, in the Netherlands, mm -hmm. lived in Colombia a little bit, and came back um, to Fort Wayne and uh, started working with Carly, and we've just really created something cool here. So, yeah, that's yeah. so cool. I mean, it sounds like you've been all around and about, and I love the educational piece. You all really took this craft seriously to get really trained, mentored, and educated so that you can Put on your best performance. So how long have you two been performing together? Almost four, four years. years. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So nice. Okay. So She Shed. So this performance that's happening this upcoming weekend is the first of many to come, right? So this year you're going to do a little um, rollout of different things. So what are your expectations for the year? I think that we would like to start putting this on monthly, mm -hmm. as well as bringing in different artists. Yeah. So um, I have uh, Kelby Clark coming in from Nashville in mm -hmm. May to do one of these events. And we want to carve out a space for people to be able to express themselves musically, maybe in ways that are, are less conducive to entertainment, mm -hmm. as is expected, maybe in restaurants and bars and things like that, yeah. and more, more of a place to display their deeper selves musically. Yeah. yeah. It's like an artist's showcase, yes. right? Mm -hmm. um, but it's also a chance for the community to get together, our community in Fort Wayne to get together and see uh, whether they're local musicians or traveling musicians to see this artistry in an intimate space. Yeah. Um, yeah. And for the artists to get paid fairly. Yeah. So that's yeah. really important yes. to us. That is. Okay, so if someone wants to attend or learn more, do they need to get tickets in advance? How does that work? Yes, tickets can be bought at carlyinglespiano.com. Okay. Um, there's a tab on the website, SOFA, S O F A H, Sounds mm -hmm. from a House. If you click on that, it'll take you right to the options for tickets to the different events. Mm -hmm. um, this one will be 
selling tickets right up until Sunday. There are only eight remaining. Oh, wow. So, wow. Yes. <laughs> you have to so get, get on that now. Yes. And okay. we'll be, yeah, we'll be um, broadcasting, you know, the next shows so people can buy in advance yeah. once those are more solid. Yeah. Okay. Well, congratulations on this. It's so exciting to see you guys perform and just really experience this music, this deep musical experience, <laughs> yes. as you said. <laughs> thank you so much. Yeah, yes. thank you. And if you'd like more information about She Shed and this upcoming event, Sounds from a House, we'll have their website listed below, and we'll be right back. Follow us on social media at Living Local 15. Wake up with us on Wayne 15's First News every weekday morning. We'll bring you the local news you need to start your day. Stay with CBS Mornings at 7 on Wayne 15. We've got the overnight breaking news and in-depth reporting. And uplifting stories to start your day off right. Then at 9, watch Living Local 15 with Jessica Williams. Hey, Jessica. We're talking food, fun, and everything going on in Northeast Indiana. First News, CBS Mornings. And then Living Local 15. A great way to start your day. Every day. Well, that's our show for today. Thank you so much for tuning in. And remember, you can always catch up on episodes and full segments of Living Local 15 by going to Wayne.com, downloading the Wayne app, and also checking us out on YouTube. And I'll leave you with this. It's never too late to live your best life, so start living it today. And I look forward to seeing you here tomorrow because it's Friday. <laughs> bye bye Living Local 15. Proudly driven by the Kelly Automotive Group.